Okay, uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on using a feature called Quick Explosion. I am working with Blender 2.60. And let's just def delete our default cube there. I'm going to create a sphere object, UV sphere. I hit spacebar and type in sphere. So there's our sphere. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, obviously, I can change the resolution of it and smooth it out, but we're just going to quickly make it basically fall to pieces. Uh, it did something like this in a tutorial in 2.5. I don't think this quick explosion feature was available then. As far as I know, it's new. I never noticed it before. But this saves you a lot of time. Um, now, you can get to it two different ways. Make sure you have your object that you want to explode selected. I can go Object and up to Quick Effects and choose Explode. But what I'm actually going to do is hit Spacebar and type in Quick or Explode. I like using uh, the Spacebar there because uh, typing the search like that is just usually a whole lot quicker. So I'm going to hit enter there, and as down here you can see, you have some options. Um, you have outward velocity, the number of frames, starting frames, uh, ending frames. So if you didn't want it to explode right away, you can set the starting frame and ending frame higher. So if you wanted to be there for uh, two seconds and you're doing 30 frames a second, you would set it to 60 as a start frame, and then however many frames you want it to end at. And, um, I haven't even messed with that setting yet, but we're just going to leave all the defaults for right now. And what we can do at this part it, point is hit Alt A and see our animation. That's it. All we did at this point, once I'll, I'll just do it again because it was so simple. I'm going to hit spacebar, type explode, or at least start to type it. Oh, <laughs> let's add a sphere first because you have to have something to explode. Make sure it's selected, explode, and then Alt A to animate it. That's it as far as, now obviously what we've done here, if we pull this panel out a little bit more and go to our particles panel, you can see basically it created particles for us here. And you can change a bunch of different settings in here. You can change the gravity, so how fast it falls, um, whether how random it is, whether the pieces are spinning. But I just want to show you the quick, uh, just is like that. You just add that in. Let's hit G and Z and move that up a little bit. Don't worry that it looks like it's falling apart there when you start the animation over again. It goes back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make something for it to bounce off of, a ground for it to bounce off of. So I hit spacebar and I'm going to add a plane, S, and I'll type in 20 to scale it up to 20 size. Now at this point, if we just hit Alt A, it falls through that plane. Uh, so what we have to do is make this plane a collision. So with the plane selected, come over to our physics panel here and type collision. At this point, if we hit Alt-A, it will collide, but we get a big bounce. Now, depending on you know how you want, how much you want it to bounce off this object, we can adjust the particle dampening, uh, the factor here. And I'm going to turn it up to probably about seven or so. I think will be good. Boom! And there, it doesn't bounce as much, and our particles kind of fall off there. Um, now, obviously, we can also change that they whether they die like that and disappear at the end. But I just wanted to show you this quick tutorial that feature, as far as I know, is new, uh, which is one of the quick effects, which is explode. So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day.